Once upon a time, John Solheim worked for free. His father, Karsten, had no competition for his services in helping assemble the first ping putters in the family's Redwood City, California garage. Then a supermarket opened in the next town over, and John applied to be a bagger. Dad put John on the payroll, $2.50 per finished putter, and he's been there since. It is truly the American success story. Karsten built a better mousetrap. The world literally beat a path to his door. Uh, and John and, and his brothers, Alan and Lewis, uh, have maintained that and grown it. Today, Karsten Manufacturing is a worldwide leader in golf equipment. John's been there all the while, first working for and then succeeding his father as the business grew and grew and grew. He built relationships with touring players. He helped develop lines of irons. He was the brainchild behind the collapsible legs on lightweight golf bags. He brought aerospace technology to the company and supervised marketing strategies designed to bring young players into the game. John Solheim taking a chance on a guy from Baghdad, Florida named Bubba, uh, giving me a sponsor deal on the mini tours, um, kept me going. And I tell him every time, without the Ping family, uh, no chance that Bubba Watson would be Masters champion. There's no chance that Bubba Watson would be able to do these things, sit down and talk about a great man, a great family, a great company. Um, that means the world to me, because without them, I definitely would not be uh, a champion like I am today. Name a product Ping sells and John's fingerprints are on it, and often his patent as well. Under John's leadership, the Ping mission hasn't changed. As he says, we've always focused on the same principles, performance, innovation, and custom fitting as the foundations for engineering products that make the game easier for golfers of all abilities. The Solheim family commitment to women's golf is universally known. The commitment displayed in the Solheim Cup is duplicated in the amateur and junior ranks, including the Junior Solheim Cup. Among his many honors, John received the 2008 J.R. Digger Smith Award from the American Junior Golf Association, presented to an individual devoted to the AJGA mission of developing young players through competitive junior golf. John's also in the Arizona Golf Hall of Fame. But John Solheim has gone beyond golf in giving back. John not only gives money and, and equipment and one thing or another, but he, he devotes his time. Um, he's, he's served on the board for two universities at the same time. He served on the board for Arizona State University and also for Luterno University in, in uh, Texas. His dedication to charity outside the game includes the Wounded Warrior Project and the Motion Analysis Laboratory at Phoenix Children's Hospital. In conjunction with Bubba Watson, John Layton, 2012, provided funding for the lab via sales of an all-pink driver similar to the one Bubba used to win that year's Masters. The lab, which opened in 2015, one of only 40 in the United States, uses revolutionary assessment tools to evaluate and treat children and adolescents who have movement disorders or walking difficulties caused by cerebral palsy and similar neuromuscular conditions. Patents, promotion, progress, and philanthropy over 60 years of service, all because John Solheim stayed to work in the family garage rather than bag groceries. It's the compassion he shows to the game of golf and the history of the game of golf. Um, the man should be a Hall of Famer in every sense of the word. He's a champion in my book and he creates products for people to enjoy the game and get better at the game. For me personally, John has been a, just an absolutely wonderful mentor. And beyond that, he's been even a, a better friend.